Hollywood Police Department, we got a, a special vehicle for you guys. I mean, if you click on the thumbnail, you would already know what vehicle it is. So if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. My name is Nick, we do a series here called Police Cars. That's right, this is season two, episode four. If you wanna check out season one and all the other vehicles that we covered, I'm gonna link it up here. Also, if you guys are here from the Police Car Build Series, that's where I bought an old beat up Crown Vic and we're transforming it into a working kind of police vehicle that we're gonna be doing cool reviews and all kinds of other stuff with. We do a police car build series, you guys need to go check that out as well. So enough of that, well, we're not gonna run down this police car's vehicle here. I just wanted to touch base and show you guys the Hollywood PD. We're out here in front of Hollywood PD. Uh, as you can see inside the parking lot, they have some cool vehicles, as well as some of the classic Vicks I saw parked out there. I was told by Officer Christian Lada, uh, the PIO, to go meet us over at the beach. So he's like, hey, come meet me at the beach. So just wanted to touch base and show you guys this. But now we're headed towards La Playa. <laughs> Guys, we're waiting on uh, Officer Lada, but he seems to be uh, busy. As you notice, everyone's stopping. They're loving the Jeep, and they're trying to take a picture. So we'll wait till he's done, and then we'll meet him up over there. We gotta do the right. intro. All right. Don't forget to take a picture okay, with we'll my phone. Picture. Okay, your phone. Yeah. Picture. All right. All right, guys, we're doing this live here, and then we're gonna head somewhere. All right, here we go. That look good, guys? All right, one, two, three. All right. Hey, Nick, let's get out of here, man. We got too many pictures. We got to get the show done. You want a picture, too? FDNY, I like that hat. Take a look at that hat. I don't think we'll, think we'll do that. No, thanks. Yeah. Oh, what's the matter? Fireman can't be mixed up with police? <laughs> what's going on there? I'm used to put up with them. <laughs> I wanted to do your introduction out here because I figured, you know, this is like the central part of the beach area, but it's like everyone. Nick, there's too many people here right now. Let's, uh, let's jump in the Jeep, let's go somewhere else where there's less people and we can do the introduction. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Although this is a sweet spot. That's nice. That's All right, nice. well, let's go. Oh, so they got to keep this clear right here so we can have emergency vehicles, whether they're lifeguards, fire department, or us on our ATVs or the Jeep, so we can go through the sand right here. What's up? want to see because it's different. You want to see? Climb up on top. Climb up on top. Are you, it's okay? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you want to see? This is the inside. You want to press a button? It's different. It's a I love it. All right, Christian, introduce yourself to the Nod Squad. Hey, Nod Squad, my name is Officer Christian Lotto with the Hollywood Police Department. And today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit about our Jeep Gladiator. A little bit about myself. I've been a cop for about 15 years now. Started my career with the LAPD. And eight years ago, I said to myself, I need to change. So what did I do? I came to Paradise, the Hollywood Police Department. I've been here for about eight years. I've uh, worked with gangs, I've worked narcotics, I've also worked as a field training officer, but right now it's one of the best jobs I've ever had. 
I'm assigned to the public information office. I get to interact with people, deal with our social media pages, and go out and see what our city and the world has to offer. We got everything you want. We got a beautiful beach, we got a residential area, we have a downtown area, we have Skyrise, we got everything. There's even an airport over here, Fort Lauderdale Hollywood Airport. A little bit about what our agency offers, we have a SWAT team, we have school resource officers, we have a full detective bureau with homicide. A downtown unit, if you want to roll on a bike, you can roll around on a bike. We have ATVs to be on the sand. We got this beautiful beast right here. What I, else could you want? I saw some other cars too out there. So is that like a F-350 oh, mega truck you guys had? What, what we do is we have a very active narcotics and VIN unit. We were able to seize an F-350 monster truck. We Ooh. rolled that around. We also have a beautiful Jeep Wrangler that rolls around on the sand as, as well. Yeah. We even got a, a Navy SEAL boat that you guys are gonna check out later. What? Agency sounds phenomenal. It is. So, enough of the jibba jabba. Let's talk about what we came here for. All oh, right, oh, oh. let's start over at the front. All right. So the, the Jeep comes equipped with a Smitty built 9,500 pound of uh, pulling powered wench. So we can basically move anything we want out of the way. And on top of that is mounted this beautiful snub nose steel bumper. Inside this uh, beautiful bumper, we got some LED spotlights and these D-rings, which are used to pull. We got these giant mud tires that can crawl through anything. They're not 35s, they're not 37s, they're 38s. And they're mounted on some black rhino, all alloyed uh, arsenal rims which uh, are pretty indestructible. As we come on this way, you can see uh, SoFlo Jeeps designed this for us. So big shout out and collab with uh, SoFlo Jeeps. We also have some body armor right here in case we go over some big rocks or anything. We got some lights on the bottom, but you're gonna have to wait for that for the light show. And uh, remember, join our team. I'll tell you a little bit about that later. Coming down here, as you can see, Hollywood Police Department, and we got a roll bar in case we get a little bit too action packed and roll this little guy. <laughs> what really defines this away from the Jeep Wrangler is the bed. It comes in very handy when you gotta move things here on the beach. If you gotta transport people on the beach, maybe we got a gurney, maybe someone got hurt. You know, you never know. We use it for uh, community outreach, for recruitment, but also for the utility aspect of it. We're on the beach, we need something four by four, we need something to get in and out, and this really uh, accomplishes that. A lot of Jeepers are gonna be watching this video. Yes. They're gonna be like, tell us about the suspension. It, this thing's lifted, yes? Yeah, it's lifted. Um, yeah. SoFlo Jeeps went ahead and put a six inch Terraflex lift on this, accompanied with the 38 inch tires. Man, it's giving us a good like two and a half foot uh, clearance. It's gonna let us get over anything we need and now uh, king tide coming through, uh, the increment weather that we have, big flooding. This thing's made for Hollywood. Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Florida, <laughs> yes. So yes. that's what I was gonna ask you. It's lifted, a lot of water over here, rain, hurricanes. You guys would take this thing out, deploy this bad boy. Uh, if you need it in a flooded area to respond to calls? Yes, yes, definitely. That's one of the reasons why we got it, too. So yes. now they're like, okay, okay, I see you, Hollywood PD. Now tell us about the engine! Uh, the engine is basically stock. But you don't really need anything much than stock here. It's the 4.0 liter Jeep engine with an eight-speed automatic, and yes, it's four by four. A shame. Think something new under the sun mm. You can't take back some things You're already done, done No You blame things that you do on somebody else Alright, so we're headed downtown Yes And we're gonna run down the inside of the vehicle, which we're in right now Yes you want to talk about a little bit, like get more in detail of what the car is used for at the agency? Okay. All right, hold on. Let me change up the angles. What we use this car for the most is actually for outreach, for community involvement. Um, you'd be surprised at how, how, how people just see this Jeep and they just want to run up to it and take pictures with it. And I'm not kidding. Just the other day, I was driving through downtown. I had to park and I had a $300,000 Bugatti parked right next to the Jeep and no one was even paying attention to that car. They all wanted to take pictures with the Jeep. We're playing on that. We're, we're, we're using that to our advantage. We use it for recruitment. We go out to other academies and talk to recruits that are interested in, in applying for us. But 
not everybody gets to drive the Jeep in your agency, you know? No, everyone gets to drive the Jeep. What do you mean? Jeep. Wait a minute. What do you mean by Okay, that? so another thing that we do with the Jeep, it's like a morale boost. If uh, if patrol is good that day and uh, one of the guys or girls wants to take the Jeep out, they just tell the watch commander or the lieutenant on shift, hey boss, can I take the Jeep out? If it's available, go ahead and get it. It's usually always available. Not like good behavior. Like there, there's enough in, uh, staff and everybody. Yeah, yeah. Fully there's staffed. there's enough staff. It's fully staffed. The reason being is, come on, really, you can't really pursue anyone in this Jeep. You'll have a police officer out on the street in a police car, but the police car is a little limited. There's a lot of things that we could do in this Jeep that you can't do in a normal police car, but there's also things that you can do in a normal police car that you can't do in this car. Ah. Oh, coffee. You know what would go good with that guy if there was. Uh -huh. a there was a donut. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Roasted Bean Cafe. I, you, I, I would love you to come inside. I'd love you to come inside and, and take a look. Uh, we got a lovely barista. Her name is Avalon. And uh, Masha is a part owner of the of the cafe. So. You guys just opened up? Uh, no, we have, a, we have a lot of time at, at the neighborhood. All right, guys. So if you're in the area, check them out. Roasted Bean Cafe. Thank you, Mr. Coffee. See you later, bro. Any collapse for, for Mr. Coffee would be appreciated. You got it. Mm. Oh, but still you try so hard to cover up your games. You try. Loving the murals. All right, man. Christian, what's up? Where'd you take us? Well, I took you here to one of our beautiful murals that we have in downtown Hollywood. Um, we got about 15 murals down here. And as you can see, this one, they just painted over it white. They're gonna put a new one up here. I'm really excited to see what it's gonna be. Nice. But enough of that. Let's see what's inside this uh, Jeep. As you can see inside our Jeep, it's basically just like every Jeep. It's a convertible, top comes off, which makes it that much cooler of a truck. It's a convertible truck. I want to apologize right now for the sand. We did just get off the beach, so it's a little dirty, but that's what these things are meant for, right? If you see right here, it's got two shifters. It's an automatic, eight-speed. It also has your four by four knob. We got our Whalen uh, light system here. We have a touch screen, uh, nine inch screen in there. We got a 4K camera that can be turned on while you're driving. Not that we actually use it, but it came with an awesome Bose sound system. You got the top down, you got the doors off, you might want to put some tunes on. Guardate come balla! Questa è la Jeep Dance! You don't do that. No, no, we don't. We don't do that. <laughs> like I said, we do use this Jeep on patrol, and officers on patrol need to use their computers and need to use printers. So what we did is we ordered a computer mount and a printer. We didn't install it just yet because we knew that we had this photo shoot and we didn't want to postpone I it. I noticed the back seat, no cage. No, no cage in this one. If we do arrest someone, we just throw them in the back of the bed. Yeah. No, we don't. We have a partner come up in a car with a cage and they transport for us. <laughs> we did the outside. We did the inside. It's time. Are we going to do the light show? We're going to do the light show. Ooh, ooh. Light show? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Cold like zero degrees. I'm out the cage. Got to let out the beast. Revolutionary guy. Let out the streets. Locked in a cage. I'm going to let out the hood. Out the hood. Out the hood. Wake up. Get out the sheets. We came for one man. Forget my peace. Go take the rest. I'll take on the east. I'm going to put him in a cage. Never let out the hood. <laughs> Right, Nick, it is, sure is. Yeah. This is the light show, this is what we were waiting for. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the lights. First of all, it is a lifted truck. 
So we can't just put lights on the top, and even if we wanted to, we couldn't, because it's a convertible. So what we did is we put lights at different levels. These super bright red and blues that we have on the hood, they are not just red and blues. They turn into a takedown light with a switch inside. They integrated in the windshield lights were the ones that you would have to put on the roof. But like I said, it's convertible, so you can't. We got little, little, uh, I, I, I call them Easter eggs. They're inside the turn signals. We got lights in there. This is an active working police vehicle. And because of that, we have side runner lights. If you ever have to activate this truck and you're going through an intersection, code three, you want to be seen from the sides. That's why right under the step rails, we put these red and blue lights as well. Moving to the rear, like you can see, we have another light bar up here on the top, red and blue lights, so that vehicles that are behind us can see us. Inside the turn signals, we have blue and red lights that are flickering. And if you're one of those vehicles that are really low, like a sports car, if you check it out, right under the tailgate, on top of the bumper, red and blue lights. And let's not forget the two rear floodlights that are illuminating everything for us in case we need to go in reverse, or in case we're going somewhere where we don't intend to. Come with me, let's go inside. I'll show you how to work the controller. So this is our control device, our Wayland control device. There's three settings for our lights. One would activate our rear lights only. The reason why we'd wanna use that is if we're on scene, we don't wanna blind the officers that are working in front of us, but we still wanna direct the traffic that's behind us. Two, activates all our lights. And if we wanna activate sirens, we would have to press a button here. But because of gross motor skills, you might want to just press three and your gross motor skills, you just hit the horn and that activates the sirens, our takedown lights. Say you want to pull someone over and you want to flash the lights on them, you want to be able to get a better vision of a uh, field of vision of what you're looking at, you put your takedown lights, it just lights up everything. It's like daytime now. You got your work lights. Your work lights, like I said before, we got rear facing floodlights. That's your work lights. Now I can see everything behind me. And then your cruise lights. Your cruise lights is basically your light bars, blue and red, constantly on without flickering, and it looks like this. And my favorite part, if they're still not moving out of your way, it's also a PA system. Sir? Yes, you. Yes. Can you please move out of my way? That way, no, yes. All right, guys. This is the part of the video where we run the sirens. So if you have small children at home, your earphones are turned way up, or you got dogs that don't like loud noises or a health condition, you might want to turn your TV down, turn those headphones down, and if you're not with it, you can just skip ahead 20 seconds and continue with the video. All right, time to turn on those sirens. in some like earplugs for this portions of the videos. Let's talk about the spots because I noticed you don't have like one of the spotlights that turn like that. Yes, I don't. So what we have instead are these rigid lights, LEDs that are super high voltage and they're, they're very bright. Go check them out. All right. Christian, Christian. Nick, Nick, Nick. Hollywood PD showed up, man. Thank you, sir. You guys showed up and showed out. Guys, that's the end of the video. But before we go, we got a little giveaway, right? A giveaway, yes. A giveaway. giveaway. What are we giving away today, We're Christian? Giving away Let's show them. Let's show them. Five of these Hollywood Police Department challenge coins. Woo! Along with a possible t shirt. Whoa. We're talking about possible t-shirts here. <laughs> I can't guarantee that because I don't know if we have it. <laughs> but, but if we do, you're getting it. Definitely five challenge coins. I'm going to tell you how to win this challenge coin. And not only that, I'm going to put everything down in the description below. So you got to jump through a couple hoops here. One, you have to subscribe to this channel. Two, you have to hop over to Instagram and follow Hollywood PD on Instagram. Hollywood FLPD, follow them. Follow me on Nick Off Duty. They're going to post the trailer to this video on their Instagram. Instagram, you make sure you like that video and comment done, and that'll make you eligible to win one of these coins. A couple weeks after the video is posted, 
My man's gonna get on and he's gonna do the giveaway and select the winners of the five coins you said? Five coins. You said 50 coins? Five coins. Five coins, <laughs> my bad. My <laughs> the five coins and the possible t-shirt. Possible t-shirt. We'd like to give you, on behalf of the Hollywood Police Department, this challenge coin. Whoa. And thank you for everything that you do for the law enforcement community. Whoa. And guess what? I got something for you. All right. Let's get it. I'm a magician. That's right. The new police cars hat. Well, I'm going to wear this oh, right now. Are you wearing it right now? Right now. Yeah. It's a LXL. LXL. A little bit big? A little bit? No, oh, man. That looks good. good. It looks good. Feels good. Feels good. my hat. Looks good. Wait. And I got something to match you with the coin. All right, I got a possible challenge coin. No, wait, it's a, it's a challenge coin. Oh, buddy. <laughs> so a Nick off-duty official, Nick off-duty challenge coin right here. Bam, on this side. Thank there you, you very go. much. This is, that is actually really nice. Man, and I appreciate it's everything not you squad did. Nod squad and all. Nod squad, that's right. So I appreciate you with the Jeep guys. Let us know what you think about the Jeep down below. And don't forget, Hollywood PD is hiring. So if you want to drive this bad boy, make sure you hop over to the website. What is it again? It's Hollywood FL PD on Instagram and hollywoodpolice.org. Hollywoodpolice.org. Drive one of these bad boys. All right, you know what I do to sign off? This, is, this was all fluid. We didn't cut here and I didn't teach him to sign off, okay? <laughs> so, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, hit him with the sign off. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you. Then I'll see you. There it is.